Hi, I'm Eric from Denver Athletics and Recreation and the Joy Burns Ice Arena. Uh, today we're going to be building a shooting and stick handling platform at home. Um, I have sourced this piece of plexiglass uh, from my rink manager. Uh, oftentimes rink managers have broken pieces of glass. Uh, if you want to ask them for it, go ahead. No guarantees you'll get one, but it's worth a shot. If not, you're going to want to head to your local hardware store. Um, at the local hardware store, there are a number of different types of plastics and also wood surfaces with laminate finishes. And what you're looking for is something with a smooth finish that can replicate as close to possible uh, as a surface of ice. Nothing's going to be perfect, uh, but we can get pretty close with plastics and laminate. Um, the second thing is that you're going to want to pick a nice big size piece. So I have this big size piece here. Um, we want something wide enough and long enough so we can practice a full range of shots and stick handling uh, maneuvers on the sheet. So this is a nice big piece, but we have an irregular edge here and it's actually a sharp edge. And so today we're gonna cut that off and sand it down and make a nice shooting platform out of this old piece of plexiglass. The materials you'll need to cut the shooting platform from an irregular piece or just down to a size that you prefer Will be a saw of some sort. I have a circular saw, but a sawzall type saw would also work. We have some tape so we can mark a straight line for our cut, and of course our personal protective equipment, eyes, and face mask. First step in making this irregular piece, a nice square piece, is we're going to use some uh, painter's tape here to create a nice straight line so I know where to cut from. One thing to note is that I'm doing this cutting in a well-ventilated area. Whether you're cutting wood or plastics, uh, you don't want to breathe that stuff in. So that's one reason we have the face mask. Um, another thing here is that I'm in my garage, open space. I have a door behind me and a fan behind me pushing some of this uh, particulate away. So be careful of that. The last and most important thing to note is that no miner should attempt this project by themselves. They should be supervised at all times when using power tools. Okay, now I'm going to don my personal protective equipment and get cutting. To avoid reaching, I'm going to start cutting from the other side. Now we've cut the excess off, I'm going to remove the painter's tape and sand down those rough edges with a little high grit sandpaper. All right, we finished our shooting platform here, nice and square and large enough to do a number of shooting maneuvers and stick handling maneuvers on. Uh, kids, just remember, do not cut uh, with power tools without supervision. Um, and better yet, you can just go to your local hardware store and they might even cut the piece for you.